Hello, my dear golfers. Uh, it's just uh, a week ago I did a video about my grip, why I hold the club like I do. And for some reason, it seems to look like I'm holding it with a 10 finger or a baseball grip. I'm not doing that. I'm holding a normal overlap grip. But the questions are not only if I'm doing that. Is there a benefit to the 10 finger and baseball grip over the normal interlock or overlap? I think there's a big benefit of even having a hockey grip when doing practice swings. I talk about the release. I say that the release is the trail hand passing, overtaking the lead hand. You can see that the toe of the club is still pointing up. It's not a twisting motion because that really feels strange when you're holding it like this. You don't want to do this. So holding a hockey grip, doing practice swings, you almost instantly feel what's a, what, what is a good release. The problem with the baseball grip and the 10 finger grip is you get more power, but you lose some speed. I lose about three, four percent uh, speed changing from overlap to 10 finger. Overlap to 10 finger. So how can it be three, four percent? That's, I, I think it was about five miles per hour on my driver. Why? It's just that the further out I hold the trail hand, the faster the trail hand needs to move to get speed, not power, speed on the club head. That's the reason why the normal golf grips actually work, because we need speed. There are tour pros using 10 finger, no problem. You can hit all kinds of golf shots. I hit good golf shots like this. Feels good. But I know that I'm losing some speed. Maybe one day when I'm old and weak, I start using that again. Because it gives you more power. And also gives you a better understanding of what the release is all about. If you have problems with slice, even holding it like this, feeling you will probably not pull the club forward holding it like that. You will push the club forward and that's what we're trying to do. And that's better. It's really easy to feel when you hold a hockey grip. It's easier to feel with a baseball grip. It's harder when you actually just put the hands together and overlap or interlock. Doesn't matter. I mean, my hands are in exactly the same place, but it's harder to feel the two hands moving differently. So there is a benefit. And when the brain understands why we're doing things, it's easier to do it. So sometimes when we talk about this is a key to manage the release or something, it's, it's all understanding. And if changing the grip could help you understand, maybe you should use that grip for a while and then go back to what feels best. But this way, nobody's doing anything wrong, really. Nobody's twisting. They're all doing the same thing. Holding it like this, it's hard to feel that one hand needs to move differently from the other. We tend to move them together, and that's, that's a problem. We need one fast and one slow. You know that by now. And therefore, there are benefits. You get a little more speed with overlap and interlock, but you get a little more sense of what your hands are doing if you use the 10 finger or baseball grip. Try it and see what works for you.